However, if Africa is to be the next frontier, I think one of the things that we need to start looking at is as parents, what are some of the education opportunities that we provide to our children? What kind of degrees are we asking them to go to school and study or guiding them? Because we should not be telling the children what to study. Um, and, and the reason why I think it's very exciting is because in the US and Europe right now, we're seeing something that I believe all of us have had on this table is the great resignation. And what that has prompted is a lot of these large organizations that are now looking at Africa. And they're not looking at the entirety of the continent. They're looking at specific markets. The markets being Kenya, Nigeria, South Africa, maybe Egypt and Morocco. And that essentially means that there's something there that we could potentially provide as a talent market. But what they've also found out when they've come here is that there still is there, there, there's a gap between the skill set that they would like versus the skill set that we have. And I think that is why, to the honest point, there's a reason why expatriates, when they come down to Kenya, they tend to prosper because they're bringing in solutions which we already have, but we quite haven't figured out how to break it down. Um, it will be very, very exciting to see what do our young people do with that information also. If you believe that you're the talent of the future, if you believe that your generation is going to be the youngest in history or whatever that looks like, how are you going to take off the work? Because this is literally an opportunity for African youth to take over the world, provide African solutions to the world. Right now, we are operating in a space where the West has kind of given us solutions to each and every problem, including our own problems, whether they understand it or not. Um, and I think depending on how Africa engages it, and, and this is layered, um, it's layered in politics, in education, infrastructure. So there's like a lot of it going up and down. Um, but I think depending on how we unpack it, it could be an amazing opportunity. And if we do not package it properly, we might have a very big problem in the future.